they head back inland and straight into another barrier. But a shallow pond is no obstacle. In order to cross, the ants simply build a bridge. It's made out of leaves and the ants themselves, a living bridge. The swarm raiders stream across the pond, but the raid is failing. They're carrying little food. The ants retreat. But fortunes change. The raiding party has flushed out what seems an unassailable quarry. Freshwater crabs are common in the forest, but a surprising target for ants. At first, the raiders do what's natural. They swarm all over their intended victim. But there's no way their tiny jaws are going to pierce the crab's thick outer skeleton. Instinctively, they probe for its weak points. One group examines the legs and claws for a way in. This has its dangers. They search for the vulnerable joints and hack their way into the leg. Using knife-like mandibles, they slice away the soft tissue. And as the joint is ripped and the tear widened, the smaller workers are able to climb right into the crab's legs to reach the muscles inside. Another group checks out the mouth. They seem to work together. The larger soldiers prise open the mouth parts so smaller workers can squeeze through and attack the softer tissues behind. The ants are dwarfed by the crab, yet with so many attacking at one time, even a fully armoured crab doesn't stand a chance. Ants eat from inside out.